Hi everyone, I'm Allie Wade and I am here to talk to you about Yersinia pestis, also known as the bubonic plague. Yersinia pestis, formerly known as Pasteurla pestis, is the bacillus of the bubonic plague. The plague is transmitted primarily from fleas to rodents and then to humans. The plague is spread all over the world, but the disease most likely originated in China, specifically Hong Kong. Within a decade of the plague making a scene in Hong Kong, it had spread to all the important seaports of the world. Yeah, I know. Scary, right? And because of all this fear the plague insinuated, research was being conducted rapidly and efficiently globally. Yersinia pestis was discovered at a time when interest in the disease was peaking. This is because of the epidemic in 1894 in Hong Kong. Alexandra Yersin was the bacteriologist that discovered the virus, hence the name change, in 1944. Think the plague is extinct now because we don't hear about current case reports? Yeah, lol. Think again. The amount of rodent populations in the U.S. that are infected with the Yersinia pestis has actually increased each year and is now spread all over North America. It has spread so fast because the rodent communities give it to one another by traveling through the tunnels in their underground cities that they have dug over time. And now to conclude this crash course on the bubonic plague, McNeil has given us three points to consider. Number one, the steamship network that arose in the 1870s was the vehicle for which the disease was spread around the globe. This is because once the epidemic outbreak occurred in Hong Kong, the ship's speed allowed the infected rodents and humans to survive long enough to spread the disease into other hosts that were in the ports that the ships were visiting. Number two, infected ships, rats, and their fleas not only infected new humans in diverse seaports, but also managed to infect animals in several different regions of the earth. These infections in the new regions were then spread and maintained in that area for an indefinite amount of time, leading up to present day. And finally, number three, Yersinia pestis invaded the Marmot rodent population in Manchuria. However, the locals had mythic beliefs that compelled them not to shoot and kill sick or sluggish marmots in order to sell their pelts. These long-standing local customs among the native Manchuria seem to have inhibited the transfer of bubonic plague to humans quite effectually, despite the endemic presence of Yersinia pestis in rodent burrows in those regions. So my question to you is, do you think a bubonic plague outbreak could happen in our world today? If so, how?